In this video, I'm going to be showing you how hackers could extract a hash from a password manager database and try to crack it. All of this is going to be in this video. Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Saad from CyberSudo. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and follow us on social media for more content. Thank you so much for your wonderful comments that you leave on every single video I make on YouTube. This encourages me a lot to create more high quality content and encourages me to upload more exclusive content to YouTube. Now we have seen in the previous video how we can properly create and secure a password manager database and we have used a YubiKey key to secure this database. Now in this video we will try to create three databases and all of them all of them are going to be without YubiKey key because without a YubiKey key even if you have got the hash and you've got the password you won't be able to unlock the database because you do not have the YubiKey key so if you haven't watched this video please go to the previous video that I have made and watch it to know and understand what I mean this video is only for educational purposes and I'm not responsible for any misuse from what I'm going to be showing you in this video. This is only a demonstration on how hackers could steal or get a password from a database that has used a weak password. Now for the people who are new to this channel, I have a link in the description to get three things for free. The first one is an OSINT list that I have made that contains my favorite OSINT websites. And the second thing is a mini course on how you can unlock vulnerable cars and the third thing is a mini course on how you can find w like a wi-fi password using os x all of this is going to be in the link in the description don't forget to like and subscribe and let's start our video all right so the first thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to create a database file using the old key pass so don't be confused because there might be companies out there who are still using the old key pass password manager. So we will start with this and then we will create two more databases and we will see the results from um, each of the databases and you will see what I mean right now. So first of all, I'm going to create a new database. I'm going to say new, new database, and then I'm going to save them to a folder called share right here. And I'm going to call it database one. So I'm going to save. And then the master password is going to be test1234, test1234, and then OK. And then I'm going to say yes. And the database name is going to be database1. OK, skip. And I'm going to say save again and save it to the share folder. So here we have the first file which we have created. And now I'm going to create a new database with the new key pass XC password manager. I'm going to go to database, new database. Uh, I'm just going to leave the name as passwords. And the decryption time is going to be 100 milliseconds. So you have to wait 100 milliseconds after you enter the password. And then the database format is going to be KDBX3. And then I'm going to say continue. And then I'm going to say test one, two, three, four, test one, two, three, four, and done. So I'm going to call it passwords KDBX3 and then enter. And now I'm going to create the last one. So I'm going to say new database and then I'm going to leave it and I'm going to leave everything to default right here. I'm going to select KDBX4 and then I'm going to say continue and then test one, two, three, four test one two three four and we are not using a yubikey key right here so this is going to be called passwords kdbx4 and then i'm going to save it now keep in mind that this share folder is mounted to my kali linux so i can see the content of this folder using my kali linux now the first step we are going to be doing is to extract the hash from the databases that we have created so now i'm going to move to my share folder and I'm going to say ls and here are the databases that I have created. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to extract the hash from the password kdbx4 database using key pass to John, which is a script from John the Ripper. So all I have to do is to say key pass to, to John and then I'm going to say the name of the folder 
four and then enter and now we can see that the five version is currently not supported which means that a kdbx database format is much more secure than using a, a kdbx3 but th this does not mean that it's like much more secure because in the future we might see a tool that will be able to extract the hash from a kdbx4 database so let's try the exact same thing but using the kdbx3 database and you can see that we were able to extract the hash from this database now i'm going to save this database to a file called password kdbx3.txt and now i'm going to extract the password from the database one that we have created using the old key pass password manager so let's do this enter you can see that we were able to extract the hash and now i'm going to save it to a file called database1.txt so i'm going to say clear ls and now we have two files the first one is called database1.txt that includes a hash and the second one is called password akdbx3.txt now to crack the hash all we have to do is to use a tool like john so i'm gonna say for example john and then i'm going to specify the database that i would like to use i'm gonna say hyphen hyphen word list and then equal and then the path of the database which is a user share word list truck you i'm gonna use this database and then I'm going to provide the hash file, which is going to be database1.txt. Then hit enter. And while this is finding or cracking the hash file and finding the key, let's talk about KDBX3. Now, since we have changed the decryption time from one second to 100 millisecond, this means that you have to wait for 100 milliseconds every time you enter a password now the problem here is that when we actually try to use john using or when we use john to crack a normal hash it will try like 700 keys or maybe thousand keys that depends on your cpu per second but if you have a decryption time like 100 millisecond or one seconds or one or five seconds then john the ripper has to wait for five seconds for every try and if you have like a dictionary file that includes like one billion or one million passwords then you have to wait a lot like if you have one second wait time then you have to wait one billion seconds and who knows how many days or month this is so come back to the screen we can see that we were able to find the password of the database one file which means that using a database or using key pass the old version of key pass is not secure and we have to use the newer version which is key pass xc and use kdbx4 and net3 now you can see by looking at the results that john tries from 572 passwords a second in a second and if we try to do the same, but with the password kdbx3.txt file, which has 100 milliseconds decryption time, and this is not even one second, this is only 100 milliseconds. Now, when we just wait a little bit and click on any key to see the status of uh, the cracking, you will see that we are actually cracking or trying 6.7 passwords or keys per second which is not or unlike the previous result which was 572 keys um, in a second now imagine that this was one second decryption time so whenever you enter the password you have to wait for one second to unlock the database the result is going to be 0.7 keys per second which will take a lot of time yeah, like this could take maybe days or months i haven't tried this but i'm pretty sure that this is going to take a lot of time so 
When creating a database, make sure that you use the newer version of KeePass and you use the KDBX4 database format and you use a high decryption time like five seconds. I know you will wait like for five seconds, but this is only going to be for one time and then your database will going to be unlocked. But this is going to make your database much more secure than using a one second decryption time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and follow me on social media. Please let me know if you have any ideas or any videos that you would like me to do on the channel. I'm very happy to see all of your recommendations in the comment section. And that's it for this video. And I will see you soon.